Hello and welcome to my latest video on the design and build of my 5-axis CNC mill turn machine. Bought some 8-4 bearings to see how well they'll work. Because I was looking at nominally increasing the size of the balls by a thou. But an eighth of an inch is uh, eight and a half tenths bigger than the balls that are already in there. So I thought it was worth a go as these are readily available. They're pretty good. I soak the ball nut overnight in a tub of white spirit to dissolve all the grease. I've counted all the balls that come out of the ball nut. And the ball nut has three tracks. There's 51 balls, that means there's 17 balls required for each track. So I now need to count out my new eight balls. and I can deflect the actual ball screw itself slightly in itself but I am pushing quite hard the ball nut I can get very slight movement on hopefully that's the camera's picking this up it's terrible at focusing on clocks but I don't know how much of that is ball screw moving with a ball nut or well, there's still some tiny tiny little bit of play in the ball nut but that's gone up to 8th ball so that's really reduced the amount of slop and I'm thinking that's about 0 0.005 of a millimetre let's see what it's like on the end Being careful not to rotate the ball nut. Not sure if that's me move rotating the ball nut. But that's a whole lot better than we had before with the original ball bearings. I've remounted the ball screw assembly onto the mill. Now check what movement I can get on it. Now I've got a bit more leverage. Yeah, still a tiny bit of play in there. Which suggests going up on the ball size a whole thou was probably the right decision. But it's so much better than it was with the original balls. I have remodelled the test piece to have a 38mm diameter and square. I will recut this now to see how much difference these modifications to the ball screw have made to the finished dimensions.
I remodeled this at 38 millimeter square. In Y it's now 38.07. And in X, 38.04, much closer than it was before, but still slowing, showing a slight error of 0 0.3, just over a thou in the Y axis. Actual circles come out slightly undersized, but it looks like the roughing pass has taken too much off. I should leave some more stock. It's a chattery finish on that inside edge. You can't see it from there. Let's see if I can get it lower down. See if we get a better. It's still slightly under. Still 0 0.6 under size in X. We're pretty much spot on in Y. the angle that's really good for machine the circle on a homemade machine hopefully you can pick up that poor finish on the inside that come from the roughing of the middle that's that's programming error that is I should have left more stock on there for the finishing pass I imagine if that cut nicely, that would be a very good circular cut. You can see the surface finish. It's much better than it was previously. And it's pretty much even on in the X and Y plane. I'm happy with that. The cut is slightly undersized as well, which uh, will contribute to the oversize of the machine part. But if it's a machine is not really accurately, we could then change our stock to leave in the program, and take the finishing pass again to correct the size.